cooking style when I was in MasterChef. It was very focused on desserts. Ever since then, I've expanded my knowledge more and spent all these years honing my skills. What's driving me to come back is to prove how much I've grown. I'm running multiple businesses with my family, being nominated as the finalist pastry chef in Australia, but Master Chef Trophy is yet to be mine. Reynold, all eyes are on you, my friend. Bring it up. Reynolds, tell us your dish. Uh, it's a dish that's revolved around the color white, jasmine gelato, coconut frozen ganache, uh, white chocolate crumble, strawberry gum jelly, yogurt gel, and little white pebbles with a strawberry consomme gel. It is so elegant to the eye. It's so technical. It's almost like being in a science lab. It looks breathtaking. It makes you want to dive into the bowl. It's very rare we see a dessert looking so beautiful so early on in this competition. Thank you. Is there a particular element that you would invite us to break first? Go for the little white pebbles. OK. That's absolutely gorgeous. It's almost a shame to ruin it. Wow, it does taste as good as it looks. In fact, it tastes actually better, which is very hard for dessert when it's so pleasing to the eye. I have to pitch myself, Reynold, because we're at the beginning of this competition. <laughs> Congrats, my man. Thank you. All of those flavors, white chocolate, strawberries and coconut, complement each other beautifully. Your technique throughout all the components is perfection. Well done, mate. Thank you. Thanks, Chef. This is the kind of ephemeral art that we expect from the best pastry chefs in the world. Yes. It's texturally contrasting, a liquid gel center with that crunchy crumble, the sort of cherries on snow. You have made it very clear that you are here and you are serious about your chances of taking that thing home with you. If this is your opening gambit, I can't wait to see where you go next. Thank you so much. Reynold, it's phenomenal. You are hugely in contention to get a pin today. The only pin, so well done, mate. Well done, Reynold. Good job, Reynold. Yeah. Oh, my God. Mind blown. I was not expecting that. Not today. Well done. Dude, you it. Good job, Reynold. We asked you to bring your A game. We asked you to cook a dish worthy of a finale. And you all did. Thank you so much. We've got a tough decision to make here. Take yourselves outside and we'll see you in a few minutes. Wow. So, the good news is we're sport for choice. Fresh hair. Yeah. For me, I think Danny's curry has to be up there. Yeah. That yeah. was like. Outstanding. Yeah, the crab absolutely. curry. Reynold has to be up there. <laughs> yep. And I also think Laura has to be up there too. Yep. yep. The eclair. Let's get yeah, into the change of detail. If you want to talk about perfection, it's got to be there. Four outstanding dishes. Day Truly. one. If you had that Day in a one. restaurant, you would be happy, happy, happy. Reynold's dish was technically, I'm going to say it, perfect. There was nothing. Mm. Nothing wrong with that. But so was the crab curry. Exactly. Right. Sorry. What element wasn't? Look, what would you change to that crab curry? You said, you know, the pineapple, you know, the condiments, what went with it? The 
pebbles, the eclair, the curry. I mean, it's just... All of you should be exceptionally proud. We asked you to cook something MasterChef finale worthy. Honestly, that performance tonight was stellar. But you know there's only one immunity pin, and we are looking for the best dish today. And in the end, you know, we debated and we argued, but it came down to four of you. If I say your name, please step forward. Reynolds. Danny, step forward, please. Yeah. Nora, well done. <laughs> the last person stepping forward. Amelia, please step forward. Against her <laughs> Amelia, I said it to the judges, I've never seen a player like that. That was art. But it was art that tasted phenomenal. Thank you. Danny, you blew us away with that authenticity. Whatever happens, stick close to that Sri Lankan husband of yours. Oh, he's not Sri Lankan. <laughs> oh, he's not. <laughs> I met him in Sri Lanka. <laughs> Where's he from? He's a Kiwi. Right. <laughs> you brought a feast, something authentic, but in many ways, it was unique and true to your personality, and we tasted that. Reynold, you created technical perfection this evening, and every pastry chef in Australia will be envious of what you just created, because it was incredible. Laura, you know, the pressure on your shoulders tonight to perform in front of this man, God bless you. It was exceptional, and so you should be very proud. I've never seen this man, you know, well up or cry, except for 25 years ago when I told him off. <laughs> <laughs> so, more of that, please. Absolutely. You four didn't just understand the brief, you knocked it out of the park and then you elevated it. If I could give four pins out tonight, you four would be wearing them. We can't, but I'd like to say to all of you, well done. Congratulations. So you four really have marked yourselves out as the ones to watch. Phenomenal dishes, but there was two dishes that stood out above the other two. Reynold. And Danny. Thank you. I gotta say, we'll remember both your dishes for a very long time. And the discussion that happened in the last 10 minutes was ferocious. <laughs> It was very hard to slide a piece of paper between you two, honestly. But really, in the end, only one of you can get the pin. And today is going to the dish that we like to eat again and 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 again. The winner of the only immunity pin in the competition. Danny. Reynold, you have got nothing to worry about. Oh, my God. <laughs> Amazing flavors. 
I have not seen perfection like that in a dessert for a long time, technically. Well done, mate. Really phenomenal. Thank you. Thanks so much. So, I think it's down to this time. Oh. But <laughs> I thought it would just be fitting. You can do the honours, big man. Thank you, Thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Amazing. I mean, brilliant. How are you feeling? Uh, I'm a little bit in shock. I didn't think I could ever win against Renault. One amazing pin. Thanks. <laughs> well done. Oh my Gordon. Amazing. It's the best way to start this competition. I'm here as a contender, a serious contender. It means so much to me. Danny, am I right in saying this isn't your first pin, is it? <laughs> no, it's not. I won two pins two. in season three. <laughs> so you're the only person in the whole of MasterChef to hold three pins? No. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah I think you are. That's, you. that's you. a record record. Wow. Yeah, nice. That's for one. Huge congratulations. I hope that thing serves you well. Thank you. Like everyone else out there, though, that was an unbelievable first day. I think everyone's feeling it in the room. But as you know, when you walk out those doors and tomorrow you come back in, we're going to have something else waiting for you. So go home and come back with all guns firing in the morning. See you guys. Well done, guys. <laughs>